Diddy blog number 25. Diddy blog number 25. Make sure you vote. You've got to register to vote. If you don't register to vote, then the world's going to come to an end. But only register to vote if you're a Democrat and if you're not going to vote for John McCain. Diddy blog number 25. Diddy blog number 25. Make sure you only vote for one man, and that's Obama. Don't vote for McCain, okay? You can't vote for him. Make sure you vote like me. Uh, you have to be a sheep. Don't think for yourself. Vote like me. All right, we got to make a change, okay? A change the way I want it to be. Uh, don't think for yourself. Don't think for yourself, number 25. Don't think for yourself, number 25. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm back with a new blog, haven't done one in a little while, and uh, election's coming up, and everyone's going absolutely crazy right now, you know? You got Diddy who's putting out his vlogs, and uh, they're all the same. Uh, he wants everyone to be a sheep and vote exactly the way he, he votes. And the fact is, is that he only cares about the color of the candidate, man. That's why he says he wants to put a brother in the office, you know? I don't give a damn about color. Who I'm going to vote for the person I want to vote for, because with him... If the if it was a black Republican, he'd vote for him. Or if it's a black Democrat, he'd vote for him. He doesn't care about the issues. He cares that a black person is going to be president. And that's just stupid. All right? Vote for who you believe in. I don't care who it is, but make sure you vote. And register to vote if you haven't already, and uh, it might be too late for some of you people. But here in Mass, I have till, or you would have till, like, the 15th, 20 days prior. Something like that. So anyway, I was perusing through some of the videos, and I got some to some political ones and there's a lot of hatred from people like both sides like hatred like name calling uh people calling each other scumbags christ fascists uh, i mean just like it's it's too much like you believe what you believe in and that's what you believe in and that's fine and you can talk about your beliefs to someone else who doesn't believe in what you believe in, you have, you know, a difference, you know, your views are askew. You don't have to call each other names because you don't agree. I mean, we live in a country where we're allowed to think differently. That's part of what's great about being here and having free speech. But when it comes to, to calling each other names, now this is just hate, okay? You're just hating each other. And there's no room for hate. I mean, there's enough problems right now. Now you're arguing among yourselves. Now I know people are very behind what they believe in, but it's too much. There's no need to uh, to talk like that to people, to other people who you don't know why they believe like that, you know? Uh, they might not believe in abortion because something happened in their life, you know? Uh, they may believe in abortion and you don't because something happened in their life, you know? That's not for you to judge as to why. You can believe how you believe and they'll believe how they believe. Just like some people believe in the war in Iraq, and to stay and finish, and some people think we should just leave now, cut all ties, and run. You know? Each side, they have their reasons. This side might have, uh, you know, a son who died in Iraq, and they don't want it to be for no reason. And this side has a son who died in Iraq, and they just don't believe in it. Everyone has their reasons. So, enough name-calling. You can talk about why you believe the way you believe, and that's fine. But stop calling each other names. It's absolutely ridiculous. You can call the other uh, opponent name, like McCain-Obama, if you believe in Obama. You can call McCain anything you want. But if you're just talking to a person, whether it be on the Internet or in person, try not to call them something. Try not to, to bash them as a person and just bash their beliefs. Try to build support for what you believe in. That's how you change people's minds. You don't change people's minds with hate. Hate only causes attacks. And that, it's like terrorists, right? Terrorists don't build on why they believe what they believe. They attack what they don't believe in. And it doesn't help. You know, it's certainly not in this side of the world. Maybe over there fear works. Here fear's not going to work. We're not afraid. So, stop. All right, Stop. enough seriousness. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to be working on some Flash, I think. And uh, so you might not see some sports stuff. Plus, I'm going to be traveling for like the next four or five weeks. And I'm probably not going to really get to be on Spore at all. It's going to be on Joanna's laptop. I'm taking that with me. And I don't know uh, even if it will work on that. And it might not. So I might not even get to play, which is unfortunate. So I'll be taking my 360 and maybe working on Flash. 
And I'm going to release a flash from last year, a Halloween flash soon, uh, probably next week or two. So you get to see that it's a poem. And the one I'm making is going to be Halloween flash and it's a musical. And I'm going to sing and I, I don't know how that's going to work out. So anyway, short vlog. Uh, and that's it, and I will catch you guys later. Uh, enjoy. Oh, I had a lot to say. Was thinking on my